Good morning. It's a lovely day here in Richmond Hill, Ontario, and we are going to be installing two electric vehicle charging stations. It's almost a his and her unit because the homeowner has two electric vehicles. So one unit is going to be installed in this area here. It will reach to charge this car. And the other unit is going to be installed over here, kind of around the center vac, and it's going to be able to reach to charge this vehicle. And they'll be able to charge both vehicles simultaneously without any problems. Around the corner here, we have our third fellow worker. Zach, would you like to explain what you're doing? Sure, so here we're uh, digging a trench for our wires to lay in from the garage to the meter base area. And so far we've moved all the interlocking brick and laid it down in the same pattern so that we can put it back in a nice neat way. Very good. So that's how we're going to do it here. The cables are then going to come run along the side of the house just above the garden level and around the corner is the meter base where we will be entering into the house and attaching the cables to the panel. Each unit will have its own breaker so there won't be any problems. Okay, so it's at the end of the day here in Richmond Hill. We've completed the installation of the two new EVSE units. As you can see, we have clipped the tech cable alongside the outside of the house. Uh, we have replaced the interlocking bricks properly and have entered into the garage area with the two tech cables, as you can see there. Which will lead us to the two new charging station units. This particular unit we've installed is manufactured by Eaton. It's a level two charging station, 240 volt, uh, maximum of 30 amps. And it even has a holster where you can uh, wrap your cord and plug in the charging jack. And over here we have the same unit. And also we have a testing device manufactured by Eaton as well. And this will allow us to test the functionality of the charging station. As you can see, it is charging correctly. And we will also now test uh, the ground fault protection circuit of the charging unit. As you can see, it's did its job. So in case of a ground fault, it will disconnect power so it won't harm anybody. And once we reset it, power is restored and the vehicle will continue charging. Now we're going to go inside the home. Uh, we'll show you the electrical panel and also something very important, something every homeowner has to have for their house. What we have here is called a main panel surge protector. Now this is a surge protector for your whole home. It's going to protect all the electronic devices in your home, which are in all modern appliances, uh, your computers, and the two new EVSE units we installed in the garage. It's going to protect these things from surges that could potentially damage them over time and lead to failure. So it's really something that every homeowner needs to have installed at their electrical panel. And for more information, you can read about this online at our website at captainelectric.ca.